Ready? Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Nick. Hi, I'm Pia. And we, we love, love to smell. smell. <sighs> this week we are smelling Sneakerhead by Zyrena. Right. Um, so Zyrena is an American brand. It was founded by Killian Wells, who I had the pleasure of meeting um, at the launch for the Somerset House exhibition because yeah. one of his fragrances is exhibited there. Uh, and we got talking about his like his approach to perfumery and what he wants yeah. to do, and how he'd originally started the brand to create a sort of no another merch avenue for celebrities and interesting right. people. Right, okay. Um, but also was desperate to express certain smells that he loved mm. in his life as fragrances. Didn't he tell you that he was having trouble finding perfumers doing some of the more outrageous Yeah, yeah, like it was going to be impossible for him to get a perfumer to do Dark Ride, which yeah. is what he did. <laughs> which is like swimming like, pool and candy floss. I don't know, isn't it? I, don't, I personally don't get the candy floss effect. What I was more kind of like upset by, because it's almost stagnant water. Yeah. As well, and I was t I was talking to him about the, my stagnant water memories yeah. and how I uh, do associate it with a water ride, but in Barry Island. Yeah. Which literally looks like no one has ever cleaned it ever. Oh. Repugnant, but it's got that kind of like. Are you safe? Feeling yeah. about it. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I don't trust this. Yeah, slightly threatening. Yeah, yeah. slightly, slightly threatening. But um, but inspired by Splash Mountain at Disneyland. So probably okay. a bit cleaner than, than the Dirty Water Ride in Barry Island. Um, but as well as that, he'd also created Helenut, which was supposed to be Nutella. It's it's not quite creamy enough to be Nutella. It's more along that kind of roasted okay. chestnut, hazelnut thing. Okay. Um, as much as I love Nutella, it didn't quite hit the spot. But the, the ad spot is hilarious. Go watch it. I'll put the link in, in the <laughs> description because it just makes me laugh so much. Um, but he created Sneakerhead, which we're smelling today. And does he use a mixture of other perfumers and himself? So when he's creating with a celeb or a drag queen, as it's mostly been so far, <laughs> he's he's working with a perfumer. Okay. Because he's like, I can't necessarily express those concepts. Right. Whereas with the fragrances that are just, he wants to do those smells. So kind he's of the ones figuring for fun out. that he's just playing with. Yeah. He's going That's to him do it. playing. Okay. Yes. Fine. And and. That's that's the way it works. So he okay. is taking it seriously when it's for somebody else, and then when it's for his, himself, he's having fun with it. That's totally cool. And yeah. what a great approach that is. Yeah. Yeah. Firstly, the packaging, hilarious. Um, Honestly, it's... the packaging is just. I mean, we got to show this as well. It comes oh, yeah. in a video case. Yes. Like for your children out there. This, this is, is what, what Netflix used to look like. <laughs> <laughs> but you had to go to a shop to borrow it. Yeah. And then you had to <laughs> and return it. it. And rewind it. And if you returned it too late, they would find you. They would find you. But you could go to the video shop, you could pick a video, and then... <laughs> who knew if it was good or not? Nobody until you got home. Like, it was a total stop shot in the dark. And I love, love, love the, the kind of like 80s, 90s flashback of yeah. a video case as perfumery packaging. I think it's really funny. Yeah. So, um... <laughs> This fragrance is crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. The, so sneaker lit, like the idea is sneakers in a box. It smells like the rubber bit. Yeah, in it does. Pair. It does. It does smell like the rubber bit. It doesn't smell like yeah. the leather or the pleather or the no. suede or whatever else. It's the rubber bit of the shoe. Yeah. And it's literally rubber soles. So insane. I'm so happy he did it. I just, <laughs> I'm time. just kind of thinking, where would you wear this? But I, I know people who'd be like, give it to me. <sighs> give it to me. That's my dream fragrance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, for sure. Like, That's I'm sure. Me, I'm but... sure there are sneaker collecting fragrance nutcases out there. In fact, I know that there is one of them on Twitter. So I will be making him some <laughs> fragrance. But you know, how, I mean, I wouldn't wear this. I find it slightly alarming. It's just so well, kind of rubbery and and chemical, <laughs> but. Yeah, it's kind of like. It I is love like, that someone's done it. Yeah. I love that someone's thought. Do you know what? There should be a perfume that smells like this. I'll make it. Yeah. You know, I. I it's like I want that, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make this. I think it's really fun. Yeah. Like really, really good, clean fun. I think you know it's it's sort of kind of in that Demeter territory or. Of yeah. Sort of. I mean, although there have been some duds in Demeter. Yeah. Where they don't like kitten fur. Um, 
Did you smell kittens? No. Though? You did not miss out because it does not smell like kittens. It smells oh. like Lamal. Oh, okay. So that was Sneakerhead by Zyrena. And see you again next time. Bye. Bye. You know, not everything here is made for me. No. And I think, <laughs> how dare they? <laughs>